Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to use the library edition of Ancestry.ca. So right now, I'm at HighRiverLibrary.ca. You'll notice under ebooks and online content, and under popular service, you'll notice Ancestry.ca. However, I found that this link tends to be buggy and often won't work. So it's easier just to click on ebooks and online content. And then click on this link right here. Now you're going to need your library card for this. Enter in your library barcode number and your PIN number. Your PIN number will usually be the last four digits of your phone number. And then click Login. So from here, you can search the census, you can search vitals, you can search military, and you can search immigration records. But for now, we're just going to do a quick search, so I'm going to click Begin Searching. So here you can see all the different fields that you can enter. You can enter your ancestors' first and middle names, their last name, where they may have lived, and their birth year. In this calculator here, if you don't know their birth year, you can enter in how old they were in what year and it'll calculate their birth year for you. You can also narrow down your search by more options, such as life events or other family members. You can also search different locations. You can search all the territories and provinces in Canada, and you can search the different countries in all the continents of the world. So I've entered in a first name and a last name here. I'm going to click search. So here you can see all the results. For privacy's sake, I've blanked them all out. You'll see their name, their birth date, and their residence. You can also narrow down your search by these categories here. If you want to change your search, click Edit Search. If you want to make a new search, click New Search. So I'm going to click this record here. So here you can see the document associated with your ancestor. You can also see the source of the document. Ancestry.ca can also send you this document through email. If you click send document, it'll ask you to provide your email, and then you'll receive an email containing this document. And that's how to quickly get started with Ancestry Library Edition. Thank you for watching, stay safe, stay healthy, and we can't wait to see you all again.